What's up guys, this is Share Talking, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll show you a strategy to defeat Death Math of Dreams String Plucker. This is not my own strategy, it's the same one that Yapi and Josh Lin did. So I will be posting the links to the original strategy here. Thank you so much for uh, showing this strategy. And, well, this fight here is very hard. You can see that there is a yellow warning. It means that we are below the recommended CP. If it's a red warning, it's even worse. So this was not made for us to defeat right now with the current status. But we are stillborn and we want to defeat it. So there is a way to do this. This boss here attacks with Slash, Blunt, Heat and Sun. Can apply Darkness, but that's not really a problem. This boss can self-buff in some phases. He can debuff you as well. And there are multiple HP gauges that will change the behavior of the boss. For example, he will decrease your direct damage, then your indirect damage, then your spell damage by a lot. And then some characters will barely do any damage. The game wanted you to have a full squad that had all types of damage and still a lot of support. <laughs> it would be very hard to make that thing. So we just have to push forward and reach the amount of damage needed on each phase. Okay, so equip your characters thinking about those elements. Blunt, Slash, Sun and Heat. You can see that I am equipping some of my characters with these resistances. And Monica is a character that will be targeted a lot because I'm using the Godspeed's transformation. You can see Khalid and Kihachi here. The trick on this fight is this. This enemy has no weaknesses to any sort of element, but Khalid has this skill called Thunderbolt Slash that applies weak point lightning defense down. When the enemy is attacked by a lightning attack, we will grant a lightning defense down. Okay, so there is something different about this Kihachi compared to the past one, is that she will chase on overdrive no matter if you are landing a weak attack. The first Kihachi needed you to land both a weak attack and also an overdrive attack in order to get the extra chases. You also want Kihachi to die in the first turn to reach zero HP so that she becomes much stronger via Lightning Blade Pursuit. And then if you have enough PP, we will because of Monica, you just keep using Lightning Blade Eightfold. On overdrive, she will attack three times. Without overdrive, she only attacks once. There's no need to use Lightning Dual Slash from Inheritance. Uh, you can also just wait to use first Fighting Spirit to the end of the fight. The last phase is the worst because it keeps changing the resistances every single turn. Okay, so what are the other characters? Shirei, because Shirei is an exceptional character and combos super well with Monica. With Rainbow Flooring Strings, you have two stacks of minus 50% damage. Then he also applies Recover, OG Points and two stacks of 50% attack boost. Then we have Darius. Darius works super well here because eventually he will be buffing uh, STR and Intelligence. <laughs> it does help do more damage with Kihachi. And then uh, he's also a very good one to start. Increases OG damage as well. And very defensive. Okay, this is a squad here works. I don't know which character you could replace. There is a strategy using the newest Saruin, but I'll be doing it in another video. This one is to showcase the combination of Khalid and Kihachi. That would be much stronger if the enemy is weak to slash or lightning, but if it is not, it still works. So, like I said, equipments are based on resisting heat, blunt, and sun. Try to have at least 35 if possible, but this is not really required because we are not bringing Katarina here. Let's go. Okay, the battle starts, and the worst part is the start. Because sometimes this enemy can focus the wrong targets, and you don't have that many defense boosts yet. Uh, we want Kihachi to die on turn 1. We'll see if that happens. Well, Galloping Charge. Kali will use Thunderbolt Slash. Shirei will be using Rainbow Flowering Strings. And Kihachi will be using her Lightning Blade Eight Fold. Darius have to use Great Blanket of Enjoyment every turn and when he uses his skill he applies an evasion to someone in the party hopefully it's not kihachi because i want her to die <laughs> yeah. uh someone that wants bp is shirei on start he really benefits from bp and monica hopefully it's one of those two that will get the extra bp 
Remember that he gives 5 EP to someone. Khalid got it. That's okay. But I still had a lot of defense boost applied to see if the Hachi will die on this turn or not. See the, the damage? The reason why Kihachi is in the back row is because Khalid has to go first to apply the lightning defense down to the enemy. Okay, she reaches zero and activated brace. Perfect. If you had Kihachi in the place of Sheree, she would sometimes fight with Khalid, choosing uh, the one that will go first, and that is not really good. Okay, so another Thunderbolt Slash. Uh, this turn, Sheree does not have enough VP, so he can use Triple Light Arrows or heal someone. I don't think I need to heal yet. And Kihachi will not have enough VP, so she will use just that Bolt Slash or Lightning Dual Slash. It doesn't really matter. Bolt Slash buffs her STR at least. And Great Blanket of Enjoyment. From now on, you can give the evasion to anyone in the party. You can see that the boss is decreasing your spell damage. Boss also has one evasion every two turns, as you can see. We remove all the buffs to the end of each turn. And talking about the buffs, this boss hates to be debuffed. He changes his behavior by a lot if you try to debuff him, and it's not recommended. Hence why I'm not debuffing. He can debuff you, and you could bring a debuff cleanser, but I will do so with a different squad. This time Monica doesn't have EP, it can happen. Just use a normal attack. And since Kihachi and Kali have overdrive, they can go together. You go first because of the positioning. And in the second form, you only have one turn with overdrive. He will start decreasing your overdrive dodge on this form. Don't ask me why. See that you only started doing damage after applying multiple defense downs. That's how this fight goes, because right now it is decreasing direct damage. That's the type of damage that we do with those two characters. He buffed my characters as you can see, that is totally terrible, two times even. You could theoretically miss some attacks, but hopefully it won't. Lots of single target attacks here. Very problematic. See? OG Gaunch de decreased it. Not by much, but it's enough to never get into overdrive anymore. Galloping Charge. This time I don't have enough BP, so let's use Demo Chain. Still don't have enough BP. It could be interesting to use in this form, the first thing, uh, Fighting Spirit. I will save. I believe that from this turn onwards, we won't have downtime anymore. It was because Monica had to use a normal attack at one point. But if she keeps up with Galloping Charge every time, well, we would decrease BP cost by 8 for everyone else. And that is insane. Every turn decreasing BP cost by 8 really makes a difference. Okay. See that the damage is not that bad? I wish Kihachi was doing more damage, but... Very limited for now. Especially because of not overdrive. Khalid will be a little better than Kihachi at this form. At least Monica buffs Dax or two sometimes, and that helps. Back to her best skew, and for now on, I think we'll stop. But 
I will be using Advancing Charge at this moment with Darius. I have this skill for an Inherit, it's not necessary, but it gives it up. And it can increase the damage output of my characters by a little. Damage just a little, it can help. Oh, Shirei went first! <laughs> That's not great. He didn't get the ABP decrease because of that. Give me half a downtime then. Do depend. Thank you, Khalid. If you get through this phase here, it will be easier to reach the last gauge. Uh, this attack buffs STR, and he uses like three times. Buffing my characters. Ah, uh, you cannot use Hatch's Q two here because it will still not work. The OG gosh decrease comes right after your self increase, so <laughs> sorry. Using that it would not work here. Save for the last phase. Maybe one turn before I reach the last phase. Forgot about that. So it's just a test of patience in this part. With Boki, Hachi and Kali doing very low damage. So, at this point, you're doing a little more. It is faster if Kali chases, but it's not chasing as much. Kali is very good defensively, you can get hit a lot. Hachi not so much. I didn't use her skill 2 that gives her uh, defense up. I'm saving. That was a lot of damage. You can see Kihachi in danger. I think we're still good. We took more damage as well by skipping one buff turn with Darius to use his advancing charge. From now on, Monica has enough BP to keep running this. Also, heal it a little. You can see that our healings are getting better and better because we raise buffing our status as well. We did a combo that's nice. We even got a chase. Amazing. But you still need another turn. Kihachi cannot defeat. Oh, she did! That's nice. The suffering is over. This part is easier. It won't even last for too long. Since we are on overdrive, let's go! I'm not mistaken. We can deplete this HP gauge instantly. From turn 5 onwards, uh, Darius to help us with STR buffs as well. Oh, it's not this part, I guess. It's the next. Yes, this one uh, decreases the skill damage. <laughs> if you're using Saruin on this fight, it's fun because Saruin has both spell and skill damage. But at least we have overdrive now again, and that certainly helps. One more overdrive and it's over. Just debuff it status. 
like he likes to do. Debuffing agility, debuffing STR of my damage dealer. Okay, you can punch Khalid. The next gauge there will be the easiest. If you were using Saruin or someone like uh, Shrawl, you have an easier time with damage, but not with the support. Well, she is on overdrive, so let's do it. Why not, right? Gets two extra attacks. But she was the buff, it damage decreases a little. Oh, but Khalid will probably finish. That was great. Do it, Khalid. Do it for the team. So many fast skills. <laughs> yes, thank you. And even Chase, because the enemy was dead already. Overkill. Sadly, Kihachi won't get into overdrive. If we want, we can wait one turn. I will use her Fierce Fighting Spirit right now. Next turn, I'll be on overdrive with everyone. Decreasing indirect damage now. Hachi is a direct attacker. I lead as well. So, at least right now, damage will be very high. Yeah, this is the form that we can deplete in one overdrive. Buff break, no! Sorry. That's okay. At least uh, it didn't debuff me. Three buffs, 20% status all turns. Okay, now it's time to deplete this gauge. RBP is always on max. That is two buffs a little as well. But reaching the last form will be the worst. You will choose a different resistance every turn. <laughs> 800,000 damage. Goodbye. You melt. Now, if he chooses the wrong resistance, he can die on this turn. We'll see. Ihachi's on overdrive again. Why? Because of her second skew. That certainly helps break a little. Let's use the overdrive. Oh, will he decrease his skew damage? Sadly. I think he starts with skill damage though. So it didn't really help. If he always starts, it was a bad call then. But what could I do? I'll get into overdrive again. The difference would be that you could apply more lightning defense downs after Khalid attacking. He's increasing my OG Gorge, though. But which attacks? That is different. 
Not by the end of turn. Buff break again. Ihachi will still get into overdrive because she full charges. Even giving 45 points of OG Gods would be hard to get into overdrive with everyone else's. Oh, we did! With three characters. Great. Got close with the others. How will you affect right now, Plucker? Spell weakening. <laughs> That's the one I like because no one here is using his spells. So let's deplete this gauge a little. Amazing, he chased it. Ihachi will probably get a uh, boss to around 60% HP or so. This triple S weapon I'm using. Oh, it was not that much. It's not a remembrance upgraded yet. I still didn't make my decision. We'll probably be Swart, but. Oh, I want to try more of the Megalith Dragon fights to the side. I guess you have another turn of Kihachi Overdrive, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. It's just because Shirei and Darius are together that we can get into Overdrive, because it's 45 points by the end of turns. Direct attack damage decrease it. No, I think it's random, because it was direct. Then spell? No, indirect. Didn't choose a spell or did he? My memory. It happened like two minutes ago and I forgot. Oh wait, we did a lot of damage. Is it direct or indirect? As long as I can do more damage again, next turn. 14 turns. This fight is not as long as it could have been. At least now it is a squad. And Kihachi being used for neutral damage. It's not really neutral because we are cheating by using Khalid. I don't think Kihachi would charge overdrive this turn. He did not. So I'll just wait for the next turn to finish this boss. Because I'll have overdrive, right? Indirect attack decrease it. He evaded on turn 15. The good thing is that Monica is the first one to attack, so she uh, will attack and apply the evasion to herself. Problem is that you don't get all of the effects of the defense downs from her, though. But Shuri is here and his uh, defense boost is good enough. Yeah, I was wrong. Don't get her defense boosts if she does not chase. She attacks and gets 4 stacks. If she's not chasing, it's then um, just four, not eight. But now we have overdrive, it should be the end. Let's go. 24 minutes, uh, four minutes of preparation. The fight is running for 20 then. Skill attack damage decreases. We may still finish. Because of Khalid. To see if he chases and helps. Do it, Khalid, please. Ah, yeah, he did chase. Even while decreasing the direct damage, 
we may still do it. No, there's way too much HP. Yeah. Close, though. A lot of damage for a turn where our direct damage was decreased. But the difference between this point and the start of the fight is that we have so many buffs running. Yeah, we kind of overcome. This should be the end. 17 turns. This is as hard as Firebringer on release, I believe. It's just that we have some busted combination because of Monica. Monica makes some characters much better. Decreasing BP cost by 8 is like generating 8 points of BP every turn when she's on max potential. And if she is not deflected. The enemy evades values are cut by half. Anyway, just Monica and Charade together give you too much BP. That is already is giving also 5 here and then. That also helps. We miss the attack. Yeah. Enemy is debuffing us. Self buffing. In the end, he managed to do this. Khalid is dying. We are all dying now. You debuff it, that's too much. See that our healings are very low now. But overdrive is a guarantee hit, right? That's why we will win. Imagine getting uh, defeat at this point. Direct damage decrease again? We're cheating now. Ever decreasing spell damage. At least she buffed it. Uh, whoa. Backstreet too. Look at this damage. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Buff break. How this guy is. I wanna die. I said I would finish in 17 turns. Here I am on turn 18. Got some better RNG as well. He's buff breaking and debuffing me a lot. Oh, that's good that Khalid is on overdrive because I will be able to attack with his skill and then maybe Kihachi will finish. Maybe. Has enough BP to sacrifice a little. Turn 19. <laughs> Just dice string plucker. Indirect attack decrease it. Oh, that's nice. It's over. It is finally over. He debuffed us so much that he is now evading. Kali died! This is insane! So many people are now dead! You know that there is one thing! <laughs> That can allow us to win this fight. And it's because now Shirei blocks all damage. And we can revive Ihachi blocking damage to herself as well. Holy crap. We we'll finally see the potential of Shirei. Just to showcase... We don't take damage in this turn. But LP damage is still possible. Please. 
allow my Kali to be revived. Yes, you can still be revived. I will be using Ray of Hope again. There's nothing else I can do with Kihachi. Let's try to kill. Remember that we have three turns where this passive works with Ray. Spell attack decrease finally. Oh my goodness. Buff break again. Is this the end? <laughs> it's still not the end. At least we have overdrive, I guess. It will depend. No, we won't have overdrive because he's decreasing our overdrive guards all the time. And I'm not using skill tree with the with uh Shuri anymore. Buff with me again. Phew. Ah, she is on overdrive. I think that's the end then. But she was a buffed so much that I don't know. This is the last turn where we will have the effect. And Kihashi doesn't have enough VP. But she will change two times still. Direct damage decrease! <laughs> he really doesn't want to die. Looks like he's reading my movements. At least she self buffed a little here. As long as he does not buff break. <sighs> Just do it. Finished it off. Zero damage. Zero damage. A little more. <laughs> this debuffs. This is crazy. Crazy. Could this be an epic win or an epic loss? I don't know. <laughs> What's the HP god? Let us go, let us go. He pushed it to turn 23, kill it. One of my characters even. I got super bad at in the end though. Maybe I should have saved my... Ah, Monica killed it. It's okay, you were the MVP. So... That's the end, guys. Maybe don't use skill number two with Kihachi before the final part. Yes. I thought I would go, uh, get some good turns, but I didn't. If that happens to you as well, it would be better to have the overdrive dodge. Feel it on the last part. But that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And go and support the channel. There are links in the description. See you soon on the next video or live stream. Goodbye.